Well, this is happening. Um, welcome to another video, everybody. It's your boy, Captain Zed. And today, I gotta tell you, you subscribers are crazy. I really don't want to react to this today. But you know what? Today, we are reacting to Coyote getting bit by the giant centipede. This is not a video I really want to do because the centipede is argumentally one of the scariest creatures I've ever seen in real life. And that thing, the size of the centipede he's about to be bit by, it's something that's not correct. So anyhow, before I even get into this video, I'm just gonna tell you right here. I might cry in this episode. I'm sure I told you in the other two because I can't stand seeing something creepy or something with pain. So anyhow, Let's just jump into this video because I'm not excited. But you know what? It don't matter. It's for you guys. So let's get this party started. Guys. In three. Jeez. Two, one, and go. I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm about to be bitten. Do you guys not see how Desert. this centipede? There we go. That's a demon right there. That's a. That's not even an insect, oh bro. God, that's a so demon. Much worse than a bullet instinct. And he said there's already was in this bull ant sting, and it's, this is like, this is a video like a year ago, I somehow missed this video, but whatever. I'm not even in the, oh my gosh, this video's gonna be disgusting, bro. Okay, let's see how we got this thing. Oh my goodness. Coyote, I gotta give you props. This guy's got more balls than any human I ever know. It's a He's a tough dude. To say that I am no He's a to tough me. dude. As over the past two years, I have arguably taken more intentional bites, ah, chomps, he got bit by a pinches, oh my goodness. and stings than this any thing is other too human much. Being. It was bad. Some people say that I'm absolutely he got bit by crazy, he got while others have labeled me as being admirably fearless. Ah, However, ah. I describe myself as a passionate educator who has endured these wild experiments so that we can all Porky learn about pie. animals and ultimately well, take away from my discomfort a newfound respect for these Those oftentimes misunderstood creatures. Why would he take himself so to white might be a little crazy, bees? I am not completely fearless and have made it very clear that there are only two creatures on this planet that make my skin crawl. So he is scared of some insects. The first is infamously known as the toe biter. What is Scientifically, that? This alien-looking creature is addressed as the giant water bug, and its bite, which is inflicted with a needle-like rostrum, is unbelievably painful. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Since we first featured one of these insects several years what ago, is that? the Coyote Pack has been requesting both a bite and aftermath episode. Should we watch that so next? I face my fears, safely caught one of these giants, and then in poetic fashion, Look let it latch that on and bite my toe. So is that like it was in any? I will never forget. God. He said it was that bad. That I proudly conquered in the name of science and education. Oh my, my gosh. second fear needs no elaborate introduction. Already know what it is. And yes, that thing, bro. I will be bitten by the giant desert centipede. He really did this? How did I miss that? Bro. These voracious That's not an ordinary insect, man. Be encountered when exploring the deserts of the Southwest. Man, boy, Arizona. I'm not going to Arizona anytime soon. As it disappears into a burrow, or you happen Ooh. to bear witness to one as it hunts under the darkness of night, the reaction by most so I've is usually the night, same. So that thing's huge. Screaming, running in the opposite direction, and then mentally navigating a thick cloud of disbelief for what your eyes had just seen. That thing's a enormous. Giant, leg covered, that's enormous. Venomous fang wielding a, terror. That's bigger than that only have materialized that thing's bigger than my head. And I'm not even horrified. I'm shrieking. However, my this is no bad dream. Oh my. And it's certainly dude, no figment oh of your imagination. Oh my gosh, it thinks so scary. This animal is as real as it gets. Dude. For me, the moment you have all been waiting for. Is closer than you think. Why would you do this to yourself, bro? There's no way I'm gonna be going out and never doing that at nighttime. If this happens, bro, I'm gonna roast all. Of you. 
I don't even. This was a year ago too, so it seems like it's fine from it, but it looks really bad. Someone re def you guys be really telling me to watch this stuff, man. This is ridiculous. Centipede. Jeez, man. Hey, I'm gonna street centipede, centipede right, right there. Like, right I literally thought it was a centipede in my room. Wow, look at that. Hold on a second. Let me try to bring it out here for you guys. That thing's. Oh no no! It's Dude, here, give me that Tupperware container. That thing's so loud. Right, get that no, no, pause, here, give me that, bro. Give me that. Oh, it's not working. That thing made me want to stay in your head. No no no! It's so fast. Oh, he bald? I didn't him. know he was bald. Ah, <laughs> he bald right. too. I got a pen. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, oh, that's a oh, deadly oh, little. Oh. I can't even. Oh. See. That's a demon, bro. How, how does God got me? Look at that thing jumping in the. <laughs> Woo! That is a big centipede. <sighs> That, that thing was jumping will in the get your heart racing. The bite from this creature is one of the most painful here in the southwest. And if there is one creature that gets my heart racing, it is the giant desert centipede. Bro, I'm not scared of snakes. Wow, that is a big but one this too. Thing you see that through the container there? It's I'm not. The that thing. that doesn't. It very well. Look at, maybe. That doesn't wow, look right, bro. Looking at a and living. I feel like in real life. Right there. That thing Look is at, at least a thing. foot long. That though. is it's bigger than a foot long. Oh my gosh. A I can't tell you how many people like have requested me to get bitten by this creature. That's not funny. It's a lot. It's a lot of people have been wanting to know how bad the bite is from this thing. I don't, I don't even care, bro. Gears grinding. It's got me a little nervous. Well, I'm definitely not going to do it under the darkness of night. What I might be willing to do is sleep on it, and maybe tomorrow, under daylight, we consider it, but in the moment right now, I'm thinking no. Yeah, if you sleep on it, I'm pulling that thing. Not even in. Oh. I swear, he probably slept with that thing next to him. I'm so excited to get stuck. Shaking your head now. Yeah, Bit. I'm, I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, man. This is not a bite maybe too a, far. Maybe a bite too far. Well, let's do this. I wish you told him that 20 times to earlier. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we do another episode with it tomorrow. Just kind of look at it. It's anatomy under the light of day, and we cross that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Okay, All right, let's, okay let's, so let's hold on to it and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Woo -hoo -hoo! Man. That's going to top off the night right there. Great spot, dude. Man, that's crazy. Who goes outside at night in Arizona and happen? Look at that tarantula. Oh, my body is freaking out right now. I'm not enjoying this, bro. This is creeping me out. You can hear the thing scratching against the glass. Dude, that is cringy as when they say giant desert centipede they aren't kidding look at the size no. of that myriapod wow it's even more intimidating in the daylight than it is at night now we caught this creature last night and i said all right let's hold on to it let me sleep on it let me think if i really want to be bitten by this creature here we are seven o'clock in the morning I think we all know what's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be bitten by the giant desert centipede so that I can explain to you just how painful the bite from this creature really is. Now, before we get into the bite, let's take a look at the anatomy of this creature because it's just, it's like the perfect design for everything that is creepy. Now, it is an arthropod, like all insects and arachnids, but technically got it's a myriad of his also feet. related to millipedes. And when it comes to centipedes, the giant desert is the largest in the United States. And this is a creature that you don't often come across because they're strictly nocturnal. Now, it is so hard to sit behind this container and look at this creature. I mean, you can hear its little legs scratching on the inside of this capsule. Whoa. I mean, Mark, seriously, have you ever seen a creature that's more nightmarish than this? Nope, and I know this is something you've been not looking forward to. Well, people often want to know, is there anything that scares Coyote Peterson? I jump on alligators, I jump into swamps to catch snapping turtles, I handle black widows and golden orb weave spiders, but the centipede, ever since I was a kid, for that some reason, just, just always been one like, of the scariest things I, just I don't want to get right near now. that thing. Because it has that so thing many legs, and each one of those legs has a little hand. hook on it. So when they grab onto something, they these can insects are insane. It. And when they bite, those Dude, things I don't know. ratchet this, down. This video might be a little too on. much for me right now. So this is not necessarily. And it's nighttime, so I have nightmares of centipedes yes. in my room. Yes. Uh, you know when I've been stung by things in the past, I hold my look on my room again. Jeez. So when I do that, I let go. The insect usually falls right off of my arm. But in this instance, 
This myriapod this is too capable big. of holding on to me and inflicting more than one bite. All right, well. Good. Let's Those do this like at this point, muscles, I know you guys bro. want to get a that slightly look better look at it. I'm going to actually take it teeth. out of this plastic container That's so you get teeth. a good look at its body segmentation and the little hooks on those feet. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. Right, to do that... Well, how are you going to get that out of that container? Gently... Oh. Yeah. I'm actually pin down its head to do this. Dude, oh. this guy's too calm. Oh! Now, Coyote, these, I heard this called the cheetah of the desert. Yes. That is because they are oh, speedy, oh, they are oh, lethal. Oh, 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 right. Let me see if I can this actually... This is fun. <laughs> might need a bigger set of forceps. There's just no good way to go about this. This thing's so evil looking, man! Look at that thing, bro! Do this, bro. This is too much. That was a committed oh. grab if I've ever seen one. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, each, no, but each one of these. Look at the size of that thing on his hand, bro. That is not a sharp. Look at that. That is that not body. right. That's 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 not wow. a that's and not it is right. Something's incredibly wrong. rigid. The exoskeleton on this animal is. Why is that a lie? Why is solid. that a thing? And each one of those little leg segments grapples onto you and it tries to pull itself down. He says, down ouch, so ouch, those are sharp. They're like bite. needles. Now those fangs are actually called maxilliped, and they are modified so legs. So I'm gonna go ask God why you made a, a... It's almost getting me right oh. now. Almost got me right there. That was close. Okay, I do not... I'm gonna ask God why you made a I desert did. centipede I can thing, actually see man. venom coming out of maxilliped. Got a lot of good for him for all these insects. Head. Wow, look at those, okay. That's a this thing is too animal. evil looking for me. It's capable of completely wrapping its body down and inflicting that bite sooner than we wanted it to. So wow, messed, that is intimidating. So up, huh? That's okay. okay, not an easy animal to hold on to because it is so incredibly strong. All right, guys, I'm going to place this it back in the plastic too? container here. It'll take a this minute to compose Boy, just put that thing back. And then we're going to head into the bite. Dude, you ready? If you drop that thing, I feel like that thing will climb up gently, and bite your... And there we go. Nice. Bro, that thing. Woo. Barely escaped the bite there. That's just, this is scarier than the bite. Just looking at that thing move on its arm was scary enough. How do you even do this, bro? How did he get bit by this thing? How? All right, guys, let me give you a little testimony up here. Do this. So as we know, I've <laughs> many bites. Some of them non-venomous, some of them venomous, lots of stings. And the giant desert because, centipede is the good, one animal monster. that I always thought to myself, you know what? I never want to be bitten by that creature. But I have the opportunity to do this, and I guess part of me is doing it for curiosity, part of me is doing it for science, and part of me is doing it to my body is freaking out. This bite really is. Now I've heard I'm actually terrified from several right different now. sources that it could be so more scared. painful than a rattlesnake bite, not as painful as a heel monster, which I've been bitten by, and some people say it's no more painful than a honeybee snake. So it's all about how my body you reacts. You can't to listen them. to what now, other people say. my red blood cells, and I if don't you know get what that will do. Coyote's the only person I actually trust on how painful an insect is. My swelling and pain. Any and other person, I don't care what you're saying. Um, but I've kind of climbed the insect sting pain index, and I feel when it comes to bites, this has got to be the last. One. That's what you said a year ago. Well, look at you now. Oh boy. How people actually this want to get bit by these reality. things is insane. Wow. There it is. The giant desert I'm light at it, bro. And I'm about to be bitten by it. Dude. Okay. Well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container. And to do that, I'm going to gently go in and pin it. Ready? Yeah. The way that thing screams and scratches the glass is terrifying. It's, it's grabbing his arm okay. like it Gotta wants to bite him right now. Oh, man, those little legs are digging into me. Woo! Oh, he's those too things. calm! My goodness. Okay. Now, I do, as always, have an epinephrine pen. Just stating that for the record. And... What's that? that? Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let today be the first time. Camera three rolling. 
GoPro is rolling. Okay. Here we go. Ready? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One, two, That thing just ran oh like bit. No, like it didn't even thing. hesitate. When you see those it, marks? Oh, yeah. it just straight up bit. Wow. Where? Where? Grab the paint. Uh, immediately searing. Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting. Uh, uh, that thing's uh, worse than a bullet ant. Uh, and uh, someone uh, says it doesn't uh, hurt as much as a bee sting. I'm telling you, man, he's the only uh, guy who's allowed to be able to talk about how painful these uh, things are, bro. This is searing this, my this, skin. Oh my gosh, this is the worst pain I've felt since the Gila Monster. This absolutely, just completely eclipses all the insect stings I've taken. Uh, uh, uh. How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, the good thing uh, is that the reason I'm not as worried because I know he's uh, alright because this was a year ago, uh, but it still bothers me a lot. Did you see that? It bit and like curled the skin up and then let go and bit a second time. Yeah. Ow! Uh, oh! Oh, wow. Dude, his veins are popping. I think it leads to blood too. Did blood come to the surface. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Okay, I okay. Know, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble yet. Keep talking to me. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing. It is absolutely searing. How can it be a different pain? I don't understand, man. This guy is someone else, bro. I, right I now, honestly, I'm... Is that bad? Com but we just watched him get some of all these other insects. I've never seen him react like this in a minute. Any swelling in the mouth? I'm just, I need some water. I need some water. Oh my gosh. Dude, he never reacted like this with the, with the, with the executioner wasp. This is ridiculous. Describe me where you feel the pain. Is it just like the smoke flash to the, the bite? Oh, it's going up my arm. It is going up my arm just like the venom and heal monster. Man, look at the welts that are forming on my arm. Dude, this thing is big. It wasn't like, it hasn't even been like Dude, three minutes yet. This thing's going crazy too. already. This is already? Uh, I mean, that's a good thing. Not bad, what am I saying? Uh, Bro, this is messed up. Uh, uh, this makes me want to cry right there, but no. It looks too painful. It's too, it looks ridiculously painful. Like, you just got... Just cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some of the venom on my arm. Ah! No, I'm serious. Just cut the, cut, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Ah! Never before had I asked for the cameras to be turned off during a bite or sting episode. I've never... Never before had I been in such uncontrollable pain. And never before had we not completed an episode. Bro, this is really bad. Dang. This guy is crying. I if can't you thought this it, episode was intense, this guy really stay is tuned for the epic conclusion as we show you exactly what happened to me ah. after I was bitten by the ah. giant desert centipede. And don't ah. forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.
that's the end of the video. Um, well, we don't really need to check what happened next because he's fine. Like, this was a year ago, so he's totally fine now, but oh my gosh. I hate centipedes already, but I never thought the bite would be... It just looked... He said he cut off the cameras. Of all the videos we've watched... Oh, I've seen the bullet ant one, but the executioner wasp, the giant hornet, and what was there was another wasp. I forgot. There's a lot of other wasps he's got stung by. He's never said, even the bullet, he's never said, turn off the camera. We need to go now. This this is no ordinary. I don't even understand what to say. I didn't know it was this bad of a bite. This that's ridiculous. That's we that scared me. I I honestly didn't know this was that's a thing? Like, that's crazy. I'm I'm in shock how dangerous this thing is. Um I I have nothing else to say, so um look out for a video tomorrow. Um if you enjoy, like and subscribe. I'm sorry, I, I... <sighs> This video hit me hard a little more than I thought. I, I I'm trying not to I'm 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 kind of bothered that 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 insect's something else. I don't know how he got bit by that thing. Honestly, he's 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 got guts, but he's extremely stupid. I I don't know why he got bit by that thing, man. That that thing is creepy. That that's just a creepy insect that I don't think anyone should be around. So I'm done. Have a good day, you guys. Have a good night. Actually, it's nighttime. So, or wherever you are. Um, yeah. Adios. Have a good day. Subs like and subscribe.